Alright guys, we're back with some more World War II. But this time we're going to be playing the Nazi Zombies version uh, game mode of the game. And I just noticed the word Nazi and Zombies has returned as a title theme to the game in Call of Duty. Because that's who you're fighting as Nazis. It seemed like after World of War, Nazi was dropped. Because you weren't really fighting Nazis anymore. You were fighting like... I mean, sure, you were fighting Nazis and like Kino. But you were also fighting like Americans, Russians, um, Asians, and shit like that. But, my, honestly, my, um, uh, I've come to a conclusion on my thoughts about this game. For one, this has got to be the best World War II shooter of all time, in my opinion. I don't know if I want to go as far as saying it's better than World of War, because World of War is pretty good, but it's up there. Um, the only things that I do not like about this game is, for one, there was no training mission to show you how to play the game. You kind of just had to figure it out yourself. Like, there was no boot camp level. There's also no Pacific Theater um, campaign where you fight the Japanese and you're the Marines. There's no British or French campaign where you're a British commando and a French Maquis. Um, there's no Canadian Highlander campaign, there's no Polish Tanker campaign, and there's no Soviet Union campaign. Which honestly is kinda lame. Because most Call of Duty games had that. They had multinational, multicultural um, campaigns for each of their story storylines. And this game just doesn't have that. Sure, you have British and Russian um, weapons that you could use in multiplayer, but there's no campaign. Which honestly kind of sucks. But anyway, let's get right into zombies. Other than that, this game is great. I love it. Um, play. Okay, so you have the playlist select, which... <coughs> which the tortured path helped the Bureau extract the pieces of Barbarossa's sword out of enemy territory and into the hands of our agents. Public match, which you play with other people. Custom match, self-explanatory, replay, prologue, campaign, or multiplayer. Create a custom game to fight with the undead alone or with friends. Let's replay prologue in which Marie Fisher finds her way home. Yes. Nazi Zombies prologue. We're going to find out what happens, so... be ready for anything. Uh, 
Crunchy zombies in front of right. Good to see you all again. We've had quite a ride together. Back to Scott. The Fuhrer's own stash. Perhaps your finest hour, Captain Jefferson. Anytime I'm taking Nazis down to Peg is my finest hour. Besides, these bastards had a Vermeer hanging next to a Valkenberg. Sure, they're both Dutch. The wrong damn century. Olivia, your field work at Nuschwenstein led us to over 6,000 pieces stolen from private collectors in France. The Nazis have taken so much from us all. This art belongs to the people. And who can forget the Merkur's salt mine? Yeah, yeah, I know what I did, but hold your applause. I'd rather try knobbing a rolling donut before I bust my ass with your pennies again. It's not worth it, mate. Duly noted, which brings us to Middleburg. And the current operation. Dr. Fisher? Ten days ago, we received a dossier. Material smuggled out by a young Austrian scientist who's reconsidering his loyalties. In it, he provides the location of a hidden bunker where Dr. Straub and Colonel Richter had been collecting some peculiar pieces. Whatever they found, it's being used to power some kind of experiment. You have no idea what you're dealing with, do you? Your mission is to seize that relic. Everything else is on a need-to-know basis. Is it just me? Or does it seem that we're a wee bit late to the party? I didn't sign up for this shite. None of us did. But here we are, and you have your mission just as I have mine. To find and rescue the scientist who risked his life to get us this intelligence. Klaus Fischer, my brother. I'm in antiquities, darling. Not search and rescue. Best of luck. Fuck. What the hell was that? I told you this was buggers! Justin told you! Holy shit. Damn, son. God. Fuck is going on over there? What is this? Those mentioned strange devices. <gasps> it closed my wounds. Strangely turning into like a horror game now. Hold the trigger and press Richard for heavy melee attack. Holy shit! Jesus! Jolts are a currency of Nazi zombies and are earned by killing enemies. Heavy attacks are slower, but can execute weaker enemies on the head all dropping supplies. I knew a jump scare was coming, but damn, son. No bug, no bug. Uh, so objectives, important objects. What's that mm. over there? Arms. It's a Grossman place. The bombs made it into town. Inside the farmhouse. More of those broken soldiers. Jolt so. Jesus. 
I'm not playing Dead Rising now. Nice audio cue. Alert me when the zombies are coming. The zombies sound like birds from Halo, do they not? That's gotta be John DiMaggio's voice. That's what it sounds like, anyway. <laughs> the windows, I mean, shit. to come in waves. More appear with every search. I like hear every, every fucking sound that's going on around me. Every little fucking detail. It's fucking horrifying. I think that's it. looking at a black fucking screen like the hell oh 
Yep, that's it. Raven tokens. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will pick it up in the next one. Till then I'm out. Peace.